Greetings, dear ones. I'm crying of magnetic service. This is the second week of the month of a series for the new year. We told you that every single channel would have a different kind of subject, but specific to that what you call your new year. This is the time allocated by the entire planet there are some exceptions, and that has to do with those in certain cultures who do not recognize it fully, but most calendars do. It is a time that you would recognize making resolutions or perhaps taking stock of what happened the last year, looking at it retrospectively, saying what you wish, what you do not wish, and moving forward. And you've done this year after year. And often, nothing much changes. <laughs> it seems like a fun time to make these kinds of thoughts available for yourself, for your family, for others. For some, it's almost a fad. Some, it is very important. Some, it is spiritual. Let's talk about it. How would you approach this one? Now, if you were with us last week, we did a circle of 12, which talked about launching two ships. One was obviously, in this metaphor, a very old one. And in that ship were all of the old energies, the old ways, the old things. And in the new one, we didn't tell you. There wasn't much of anything. You see, it hadn't been created yet. That's the way these things are, even today in the questions and answers. The answer was given by my partner, you don't know what you don't know. And yet we are always asking you to trust that that will be benevolent when it comes. Because you've asked for it, because you've planned for it, even if you don't know what it is. Can you approach this next year with that attitude? Can you have the two ships yourself? Let's package this up in a way that makes sense. If you look upon your life right now, you would normally say, here are my resolutions. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. I want to do this. I want to renew that. I'd like to do this better. And that's how it goes, usually. What if instead, in your mind, you put things in packages, just like the two ships of the Circle of Twelve in the first channeling of 2023. What is it that you would say you are stuck? And that resolution after resolution every new year, you say, I'll do better, but you still feel you don't. And you know what it is. And it can be so many things, but you know personally what it is. What holds you back? What holds you from feeling good about yourself or self-worth? What holds you from moving forward spiritually, perhaps? And again, it can come in so many forms. It can come in that which is your emotions and your attitude or your physical. So many forms that will keep you from being you. And you know what they are. What if you visualize what they are? Perhaps even write them down. Wow, that is frightening. To some, you don't want to even write them down. You don't want to give them energy. But what if you wrote them down on a piece of paper? These are the things that keep me where I am. I don't want to be where I am. These are the things where I will say I'm stuck because they keep coming back. They keep coming back. And what if you were to take figuratively those things or that list that you're building and you wrap it up in some kind of a package and if you did, write it up and put it in a package that's, that's lovely. It's a nice package. It's going to be a gift. <laughs> in a moment, you'll see why. 
And another list you might put, not what you don't want, but something new that you do. Don't make this a list that's always the same as it has been year to year. Try to alter it slightly so it sounds better to your own ears. Instead of writing what hasn't worked for you and has kept you away from things, you might say, I want to discover things that will increase my own, my own self-worth, my own belief in me. Try not to make them specific, dear ones, because if you do, you will limit that which spirit can bring you. Make them general and beautiful. I want to feel better for reasons I don't know why yet. <laughs> I want to waken up, I want to waken with a smile every day for reasons I don't know why yet that will come my way. This is what I see for myself in this year. You're always safe to say, I want to come closer to the creative source. I want to know more about love and that will help me. What a beautiful list you would create which doesn't sound like I want a new mate or I want this or that or I want to live in a different area. All of those things are so linear. What if those things could be incorporated in that multidimensional list that I just told you about? That you're saying, I don't know what it'll be. But I want to feel better about myself. This is the key. This is the key to you allowing what's going to happen next to be anything as long as it creates that which you've asked for. You see the difference between that linear list and that multidimensional list? Now the linear one we ask you to create is the one of things that stick and that are stuck and are not working anymore. Go ahead and write them down. Make them specific. I don't like the way I do this or that. I'm tired of, of vowing to this or that or or, or doing these things incorrectly, and, and, and I've done them for years and years and years and years. Put that list and write it up. And I want that list to go in a package. Go ahead and wrap it up, perhaps like you, you would even in a holiday package or a Christmas or, or a birthday or make it lovely. Because you're going to make an offering that's coming in a moment. The other list you have made, dear ones, I don't want you to put it in a package at all. I want, to, I want you to put it in your pocket. <laughs> because this is the one that you put next to you. You don't wrap it and send it away. You keep it next to you all the time. You might even keep it by your bedside. You might even look at it. You might refer to it on a regular basis. Just to remind yourself what might happen? What is possible? Now for that lovely little package you made with all those linear things that you don't like, I'm going to ask you to do something. The psychologists all over the world will nod and say, you're right. It's a ceremony of sorts, you might say. You're going to take that gift and you're going to offer it for destruction. The best way, dear ones, would be into a fire. Because then you watch it being consumed and your mind sees it as burning up. Your mind sees it as destruction and it goes away. It cannot be retrieved. And in that, you are saying to the universe, to spirit, to everyone around you who watches you do it if you choose to do that, you're saying, it is done. It is finished. And those thoughts that I had and those things that are stuck will not have to come back. They're not me anymore. They belong to the fire. The things that are me are these more general requests that I have for myself, for spirit, that are in my pocket. Let things happen for me, which will create self-worth, health, beauty, kindness, compassion, and put a smile on my face. I don't have to know what they are, 
but I'll know them when they occur. And the old things that I wrote on the list and put into the fire will no longer be stuck and will allow the good things to come to me from now on. It's more than a resolution, dear one. It's a commitment. Yes or no? Do you mean it? Do you not mean it? These are the times when, pull, when, when you put together so many kinds of promises to yourself, to others, for this renewing as you have it on your calendar, a fresh start as you have it on your calendar. And that's why I give you these things now to do that which I've just said. And any time you doubt, just take that list out of your pocket or off the bedstead and remember this channeling or listen to it again or read the things that you wrote for yourself. Nothing is more personal than this for you. I give you these things and this exercise because I know it works. I know who you are. Old soul, light worker, listening to me now. All these things are possible. I'm crying in love with humanity. And so it is. <laughs>